up, Ranger Nation? It's your boy JB. We're here with some more phenomenal Ranger Talk news for the week of August 5th through August 10th. So it's not going to be a lot this week, so there's going to be a second video that's going to follow this. So we're going to just go ahead and get right into the topics that I have to talk about today. All right, so I want to first start this out because I just logged into Power Rangers Now Twitter page. And today would have been Pua Magasiva's 39th birthday. We lost Pua a little, a little a few months ago, and he would have been 39 years old today. So we're just gonna say rest in peace to Pua Magasiva and may the power live on with him. So without that, without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and just move forward. All right, you guys, there is not like a, a lot of stuff to talk about this week. It's kind of pretty much all merchandise news. So it was announced earlier this week that there's a new bottle opener in town and it's more phenomenal. So there is a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Rangers bottle opener that is being released this month, which is August. And the product will sell for $11.99. So it's, um, like I said, it's, it's Green Ranger. So, it's more, so it says it's morphing time. It's morphing time. Crack a bottle open with your favorite Green Ranger bottle opener ages 21 and up. Um, so at this time, it's unknown where this will be at, and there's no exact release date for it, but if you guys are interested in getting the, uh, Green Ranger bottle opener, which it doesn't, <clears throat> this thing really doesn't even look like a Green Ranger, it's, I mean, besides the shield and everything else, the, the mouth, the mask, this does not look like Tommy at all. I'm gonna try to show it to you guys on this, on my phone, but this thing does not look anything like Tommy to me. Like, you can see that, right? That looks nothing. I'm trying to get it out of the focus of my light. But that thing looks nothing like Tommy. But, you know, if that's... I mean, it's a bottle opener. So, it's not like you have to be super duper specific with it. But, if you guys are interested in that, be sure to just keep your eyes out for it. It's coming out this month. Not sure where. You might be able to find it in probably some liquor stores. You know, like if you guys have a... um. Um, a spirit uh, play. I can't think of that, some of the names of them. But if you guys have, you know, liquor stores that you go to, you might be able to find them later this month. So keep an eye out for that. All right. So next we have a Red Ranger Spray Ground backpack that is released. So it says the Spray Ground, spray ground the global backpack and accessory company, is powering up with Power Rangers. The popular company best known for their creatively styled backpacks has released a brand new design based on the Red Ranger's helmet. The design is based on the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Red Ranger with unique elements infused as Spray Ground is best known for. The Red Ranger backpack measures 18 by 6, 18 by 6, 18 by 6 by 11 and a half inches. It comes complete with an interior laptop compartment for it. Oh, really? That's cool. It comes complete with an interior laptop compartment, an interior sunglass compartment, and a mesh organizer pocket. You know what, I really thought this thing was for kids. When I first looked at this, I thought this was for kids, but it might be for adults as well. Pretty cool. Cause I don't know kids who's walking around with the laptop in their backpack all day, every day. Um, externally, the backpack has side pockets, a zippered stash pocket, ergonomic mesh back padding, adjustable straps, and nylon zippers. <clears throat> oh wow, the backpack will retail at $65. It will be sold online as well as in stores at select retailers, including FYE. That store still exists? I haven't saw that store in years. Um, at this time, it is unknown as Spring Round Plants release back book bags. Oh, okay, it's unknown if Spring Round in plans to release book bags based on other color Power Rangers. Spring Round initially, I don't care about that. Okay, so yeah, um, if you guys are interested in that, Check that out as well. They said it's sold online and you can find it at select FYEs. Again, I had no idea that that store even still existed to this day. I have not saw one of those in Texas in, oh God, it's been years since I saw FYE. Cause we used to have one at my hometown mall, but that short, that one closed years ago. So next on the list of merchandise news is the um, Power Rangers Beast Morphers toys are in the wacky packs at um, Sonic. Not much of excitement, but it says it's time to unleash the beast at Sonic. The popular drive-in fast food chain is now offering Power Rangers Beast Morphers toys with each kid meal purchase known as a Sonic, known as Sonic as a wacky pack. 
So the fans can collect four toys in total. So the toys that you can, can, can um, get are the Beast Morphers Red Ranger, which is Devin, Beast Blue, which is Robbie, Beast Yellow, which is Zoe, and Evox. Really? You can get an Evox toy, but we haven't gotten Evox in the series. Well, I mean, we have Evox in the series, but Evox has not gotten his, his final form, so that's kind of interesting, I guess you could say. All right, you guys, and then the last thing on this list is going to be Psycho Blue. So, Psycho Blue is a part of the Lightning Figure Collection, which I found out this information last week after I posted my video last week, and then I watched um, A Plus Opinions. I watched his live, and that's when I found out about it last week. So, it says, another Psycho Ranger is joining Hasbro's Lightning Collection line. On the heels of Psycho Red, on the heel of the Psycho Red reveal, as part of the two-pack with Leo from Lost Galaxy, it comes a standalone release for Psycho Blue. Well, Psycho Blue will release exclusively at a retailer yet to be named for 1999, with release expected in the fall of 2019. So it's kind of, I think it's pretty cool that they are going forward with doing the Psycho Rangers. We have Psycho Red, and now we have Psycho Blue. So I hope eventually that um, we'll get Psycho Yellow and Psycho Pink. I will really, really love to see Psycho Pink because Psycho Pink, hands down, is the the ultimate Psycho Ranger. Like, Psycho Pink has done what no other person can do in Ranger history, and that is defeat a Ranger. So I definitely want them to make a Psycho Pink. So it says that the figure will come with this typical assortment of weapons, hands, and special effects. The Evil Duel joins, joins a flurry of um, recent Lightning Collection announcements. We all know about those. So that is really pretty much it, you guys. Um, there is a Grid Battle Force pin that's coming out. Um, yeah, this is a slow news week, and we still don't have any confirmation of, you know, season when the second half of Beast Morphers is coming. Because I know I saw some people who were looking at the um, TV lineup for the week of the 24th. And it shows, I think, episode 9 in the in the slot for um, Power Rangers Beast Morphers. So we don't know when Beast Morphers is coming back. And Nickelodeon has not said anything to my knowledge. But um, that's about it. I haven't watched Review Soldier. I think what I'm about to do is watch it and then, you know, do my review, my short main review of it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Actually, guys, I'm not going to watch Rio Soldier just yet. I think I'm going to wait and do... I think I'm going to wait for Rio Soldier. So, since this, I know this video is going to be very, very, very short. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to do another video. And I'm going to rank... So, I have two more things. I have two more topics of, you know, just special things that I wanted to do. I want to do the most epic moments in Ranger history. And I'm going to do um, my favorite morphs of all time. And then shout out to my boy, Tony. I am going to do the um, the generals. I just have to remember, like, because, you know, certain seasons, you got to remember who the generals were. Because, like, if you think about Zio, there were really no generals in Zio. Because Clank and Orbis were um, ears to the, they weren't even, they were, like, jesters. And, you know, so you had King Mondo, Queen Machina, um, Prince Rocket, which was an heir to his father, and Gasket, who wasn't, you know, Gasket was not even part, I mean, Gasket was a part of it, but Gasket was not a general because he was exiled. Gasket and Archerina were exiled by, you know, his family. Um, and then, like, with Turbo, I think you would consider Elgar, Elgar and, um, Elgar and Rygog generals, I don't know. And in space, I know you would include Ecliptor. Um, and then, you know, like with Lost Galaxy, we had so many in Lost Galaxy. But I'm going to do it, Tony. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to have to write down every last one of them and just, you know, go from there. But I'm going to do I'm going to get to it. Trust me, I'm going to get to it. All right, so I did go ahead and do Rhea Soldier. I just watched it. It was a pretty decent episode, so this is not going to be a long, deep review of the episode. I thought it was a pretty good episode. It was episode number 20. In the episode, it was actually a lesson learned in this episode. Because in the beginning of the episode, you saw the Ryu soldiers. They were training with one another. And um, Melt had a talk. You know, he talked to, um, to Toa, telling him Toa, you know, basically, Toa was all about his speed. 
and tell him you might want to use your head sometime, but you know, Toa thinks he's got his speed, he's good. So then, you know, we see Creon, and Creon, he created the, the Minosaur of the week, which turns out to be a sketchbook. So I guess the thing with the sketchbook was anything that the person wanted to draw, it would manifest it, <clears throat> which happened to manifest cages for each other real soldiers trapping them. All of them were trapped with the exception of Toa in this episode. So Toa had to figure out how to free his friends, and he figured it out. And I like that in this episode, we um, got a little bit more of a story about Guy Sword. Um, Guy Sword, in this episode, he showed up to Toa, which he let it be known that he knows who Bambi is, which is Toa's brother. We all know that. And he also, um, he, he recited something that their master had told them. So, you know, now Toa's like, how does my brother know this guy who is evil? And, you know, how does he know what my ma our master told him? I think it's really interesting. It was a it was a good episode. Like I said, you guys, this is not going to be long at all. Overall, I think the episode was pretty good. Really good. Um, Breathe the Soldier, I'm, I'm, I'm growing on it. I'm really, I like it. But it just has its setbacks for me, just personally. But that is about it for Ryu Soldier. So be sure to like the video, leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, and let anybody else who watches, you know, Ryu Soldier or Power Rangers know about my channel. And I will see you later.